Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another video of Dyla's Homemaker Tips. In today's video, I'm going to show you the game changing cleaning tips for forgettable areas. There's so many areas that we forget and I'm also guilty of it. I get to it when I get to it. I'm not perfect, but I do get to it. I like to go at my own speed. Some tasks I'm like rocket fire, I'm really quick, and then some tasks I'm so slow motion and it's just never ending for me and laundry is definitely one of them. Today I'm gonna be showing you the forgettable areas that we tend to leave behind and procrastinate on, which is going to include parts of your refrigerator, parts of your window, your shoe area, corners of the walls, corners of the stairs. There's just areas that we tend to procrastinate on. We see it and then we're like, oh, we'll do it later, but then we never get to it. But, you know, when you get to it, if you do it completely, you won't have to worry about it. And as long as you upkeep it, it will stay clean. Now, for video purposes, I did leave it behind for a little bit just so it can get, ugh. So I can show you the full satisfaction from dirty to clean. I'm also going to show you the products that I use. I do have a lot of homemade products that I use for certain areas. Certain areas I am very guilty, but I do use bleach because nothing else takes it off. But certain areas we just go on with good old fashioned vinegar, baking soda, and lemon. If you are new to my channel, my name is Dyla. I do a lot of homemaking tips, cleaning tips, and just tips on how to be fast and efficient when it comes to housework. Because, you know, there's not enough time in the day. You, you know, whether you're working, you're out, you wanna relax, it's just time is so limited and work is so bombarded and to each their own. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. I so appreciate that you clicked on this video. Watch till the end because there are so many areas that we tend to forget. Keep watching. The first place that I want to focus on today is my refrigerator. I'm going to take the grill out and I'm also going to pull it out and clean everything that's behind and under. This happened within the year because I do this once a year. So if you've had your fridge for five years and you've never done it, imagine what it looks like down here. So you really need to get onto that. Uh, the first thing that I'm doing is I'm vacuuming all the excess dust and dirt as much as I can. I mean, it's not possible to get every nook and cranny down here because your hand doesn't fit and I'm not about to deassemble a refrigerator, but it's gross still. So I'm going to pull it out and clean everything that's on the floor and behind it. Now the solution that I am going to make for this is just good old vinegar and some dishwashing soap into warm water. I'm going to wipe everything down with this water. I am using a disposable rag and I'm going to clean everything with this rag today and then throw it out. Make sure you get the wires and any kind of surface that your hand can get into because you really want to get rid of all the dirt and dust behind here. You want to clean all sides of the refrigerator, including the top sides, the back, and anywhere possible that you see that can have potential dust on it. Now I'm just gonna wipe down the grill area one more time to get rid of any excess dirt and anything. And I'm going to be vacuuming one last time to wherever the vacuum can go. This is 100% better than how we started. And now I'm just going to wash the grill and replace it back where it belongs. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to make a new solution that's going to have baking soda, lemon, and sage oil. I'm going to be cleaning my shoe rack and my shoe area. We do not walk in my house with shoes, so we leave everything over here. And I do clean this maybe three or four times a year, in and out. So I'm going to empty out everything and wipe down everything on, in, around, and behind the shoe area. Baking soda deodorizes, lemon disinfects, and sage gives it a very pleasant smell. We're going to replace back all the shoes and then get on to the rest of the forgettable areas that we procrastinate on. I am definitely convinced that the vacuum and a regular mop does not get into the corners of the walls. So you really want to wipe that with your hands. So now I'm just getting in between the railing. I'm also going to wipe the trimmings of the rails with my uh, by hand because it's really difficult for even the Swiffer duster doesn't really clean it. You really need to get into it and notice how dirty the rag is getting. Another area is the wall part of the stairs. Definitely, definitely procrastinating on that, but I finally did get onto it. Now I'm going to go into my windowsill closer to my screen and I'm saturating it with the Dollar Tree All Purpose Cleaner Oxygen Orange and it really does clean so well. Just use your rag, wipe everything down and it becomes nice and shiny. Another area that we tend to forget is grout near the bathtub. I'm using two products today to show you which one works. I am putting soft scrub on one half and I'm going to put the pink stuff on the other half. Now, once I wipe it down, as you can see in the middle, I'm using the pink stuff to see if it works. But once I wipe it down, I see that the soft scrub worked way better than the pink stuff. Yes, friends, that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe, comment below, and like this video. Share it out, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.